Yes, they are all. How are you today? Steven. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Molly. Hi, everybody. We have a lot to talk about. Clearly, we're starting in the NBA, but don't worry, plenty of NFL as well. Anyone else? Anything one on wants to get up their chest? Oh, well, we're going. Okay. I, I, well, uh, it's gone. Oh, go ahead. Warriors Draymond Green was ejected for the third time this season after a flagrant foul. The foul occurred with 8.23 left in the third quarter in Phoenix when Green swung at Yusuf Nurkic in the head while defending him. Green will await a league office review for the possibility of another suspension. He was banned five games after putting Rudy Gobert in a headlock on November 14th. Here's Dre and Nurkic on what went down. As you know, I'm not one to apologize for things I meant to do, but I do apologize to you, sir, um, because I didn't intend to hit him. Uh, I sell calls with my arms. I don't fall or to sell a call. I don't, I'm not a flopper. So I was just selling the call because he was grabbing me and pulling my hip back. So I spun away, and unfortunately, I hit him. What's going on with him? I don't know. Personally, I feel like that brother needed help. And I'm glad he not tried to choke me, but at the same time, and nothing to do with basketball, man. Like I'm just out there trying to play basketball, you know. They're swinging. Out there trying to play basketball. All right. Uh, following his third ejection of the season, Draymond Green has now been ejected a total of 18 times in his regular season career, the second most by any player in the last 25 seasons. He only trails Rasheed Wallace's 25 during that span. Who wants to take it first? Like, First of all, you, 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 yeah, you go, Jack. I'm the harsh guy, though. You want me to do it? No, no, I'm, just, I'm, yeah. I'm the harsh guy so on this show. Do you want me to go for it? Because go for, go for, I'm curious to get your perspective sure, on this sir, first. No problem. So let me end this speculation. <sighs> Draymond Green is going to get suspended for about 10 games, minimum. It's coming. I hope you brace yourself. I love Draymond. Can't excuse it. He apologized. I can respect that. That was a flagrant two. He definitely should have been ejected. But we all know what's going to come down. We know that the league office is going to meet this morning. I can tell you right now, through my sources, Adam Silver, the commissioner of the National Basketball Association, is going to be directly involved with the decision that comes down involving Draymond Green. He's been warned on numerous occasions. Um, I went off about how some of it I thought over the years has been unfair, but nevertheless, his reputation is his reputation. He was warned on numerous occasions. He was suspended five games already this year, and now here we are with this. They are going to bring the hammer down. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to say this, and I hope Draymond is watching this. The worst thing that could have possibly happened, believe it or not, to Draymond Green, was that sound from Nurkic. When a player mm -hmm. sits there and says, quote, I don't know what's wrong with him. They're trying to imply you have a problem. And there's nobody in the position to disagree with Nurkic. He's the one that got hit. He sat up there and joked, I'm glad he didn't choke me. Now, to me personally, it makes me uncomfortable to hear stuff like that because you're talking about anger management issues and you're saying, I'm glad he didn't choke me, and then you're saying that's not a part of the game, and you say, I don't know what's wrong with him. Unfortunately, on this particular day, I can't imagine a soul that's in a position to protect Draymond Green, to defend him, I'm sorry, not protect him, but defend him. I can't. Nobody can. He can come up with whatever explanation he wants, and I'm not saying because I would never call Draymond a liar, okay, because I think he's as honest as they come. But it doesn't matter. Appearances matter. What we witnessed mattered. And you dropped them. And so you know what they're going to do. You know what's coming next, right? Mm -hmm. That drop is going to be compared to the Jordan Poole drop and the practice video that we were never supposed to see. And all of these things are going to be used as ammunition to accentuate and buffer the point that this is a repeat, repeat, repeat offender, that he has very serious problems, and that the NBA needs to come down on him. That's what they're going to say. And there is nobody that could come to Draymond Green's at defense at this particular moment. Joe Dumas in the league office, like I said, they're meeting right now. I don't know what the suspension is. I can guarantee you there's going to be a suspension. Mm -hmm. And I believe, I believe it's going to be a very, 
very hefty one. So now, in totality, if he gets suspended, he would have paid $3 million in suspension fines to the league. $3 million throughout the course of his career. That that's, that, that's, that, that's after, you know, that's before. I mean, that means $6 million, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> his tax. That's yeah. unbelievable, yeah. though. Right? I'm glad you brought well, think that number up. Um, you know, when we had the chokeout incident with Rudy Gobert, I came on the show and I said I thought it deserved a 10-game suspension. I disagree with and you. And you disagree with me. Because I want to take a hard stance. I get tired of people being Draymond Green apologists or enabling that type of behavior. And one of the things that's critical for me when it comes to Draymond, I actually think it should be 15 to 20 games. We'll see where it's going to be, whether that's 10, 15, or 20. I'm just speculating. I'm just Agreed? saying I think it's going to be a minimum of 10. Okay. It's also how you follow things up. So, you know, after the first incident with Rudy Gobert, I and mean, we didn't get back to the Demonis Sabonis stomp on his chest, but after Rudy Gobert, he said the consensus amongst all of us is that I'm going to be me no matter what, and that's not going to change. Stephen A., when I listened to him in the postgame presser after this incident again where he says, oh, this is just bad luck. It wasn't bad luck. You intentionally hit the man in the face. I'm a huge Draymond Green fan. I understand how imperative he is to the Golden State Warriors, a team that's struggling. And by the way, they've had a hell of a, uh, a record against teams 500 or better. I think they've played you know, four teams who have been sub-500 over the last 23 games. It's been incredible. I understand how important he is. But to me, like, it has to be a very, very firm hand on him because it seems to me that it doesn't matter what the league's policy is on him. He j it feels to me that he feels entitled, Stephen A. He comes across as entitled, as if, okay, well, I did it. You know, I don't really apologize for things I don't really mean to do, but you know, I guess I'm apologizing, but that was, wasn't intentional. It was bad luck. And, it, and the relationship with Joe Dumars, I'm glad you said it goes above Joe Dumars. And I think Joe Dumars is great at his job. But that relationship, it, it feels like Joe Dumars needs to be recused from that decision making on it because of their relationship. Because Draymond's called Joe Dumars a father figure yeah, before. But that doesn't, and I, I, I'm, that doesn't I'm just. Mean that Dumars has any agree. problem making the decision. Agree. Okay. But perception is reality, right? But it depends. If he, I mean, you got to give you, I mean, he, he, what if he suspends him 20 games? Okay. You see what I'm saying? I'm I, just I just, I, I, to me, right. it doesn't feel like there's been a firm hand on the way Draymond has been handled throughout the course of time. You know, it's funny. I can't get into Draymond. I've had enough. Ten games, I think he's what he's going to get. He got five last time. If I want to give him 20, I'm okay with it. I've had enough of it. This has gone on. Every time you turn around, there's an issue with Draymond Green. It drives you crazy. You know what I find funny? Steve Kerr was moaning and groaning with Phil Jackson for years and years and years when Oakley, Xavier McDaniel, and Mason were banging up the Bulls, and now he's coaching Draymond and Dumars. And I know he wasn't part of it because he was a good pro and he was a clean pro, but he was on one of the nastiest, rugged teams in the history of NBA basketball who did a lot of rough things, you know, Lame Beer, May Horn, those are Isaiah, those guys, Rodman's, those were rough teams. And now he's making a call on uh, Draymond. You got to it is funny. Yeah. And you have to admit, ironic, that's the wrong guy that should be making a decision when he was on one of the most rugged, nastiest, dirtiest teams in the history of the NBA. And don't forget Kerr. He was on, how many times did you sit at Madison Square Garden with him moaning and groaning about how the Knicks are banging around Jordan and banging around the poor Bulls right. in those classic series? Kerr was. And now he's sitting there coaching Green, trying to make excuses of it. Boy, you need him to be great. He's got to learn how to channel it. Steve, how about saying, you know what, this is completely unacceptable, and I, I don't want him on a team if he's going to continue to act like this. How about him putting the hammer down, and maybe he'll clean up his act a little bit. Green can be great without the nonsense. Why the nonsense? Why does this thing happen when play was over? This was ridiculous. He's yelling at officials left and right. He's getting technicals. Oh, I've had enough. Why I have do, had enough. Wh why do you think it happens, and how do you think his teammates feel? Well, listen, I think that he's the enforcer for the team, no question. Um, and I think that when you're out on the court and you're in battle, you know, you're going, people are doing some things and you want to do something back and what have you. And then not only that, with Steph Curry as your teammate, the greatest shooter that God ever created and what he brings to the table, you're going to have people that look at it. But you know what? At the end of the day, there is no way to slice this. He doesn't seem in control. It's just that simple. You can't, unless, unless it's intentional, okay? Unless it's intentional. 
You're out of control. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh YouTube của mình và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện gặp người lớn được nằm trong cuốn sách đạo làm con. Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh YouTube của mình và hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện người chưa chào được nằm trong cuốn sách đạo làm con. Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Hỏi chào xong được nằm trong cuốn sách Đạo làm con Thì xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Người lớn đứng được nằm trong cuốn sách Đạo làm con Thì xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Đợi người ngồi được nằm trong cuốn sách Đạo làm con Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện
Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Nói vừa nghe Nằm trong cuốn sách Đạo làm con Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện